One per day. Seven per week. Thirty per month. Three hundred and sixty-five per year. And that's just Queensland. Each year, 1,500 people die on Australian roads. And one third of those are under 25 years of age. These are the lost members of a generation that should have been part of our society. There may be numbers and statistics now, but to an ever-increasing, growing club of grieving families, they were real people. 1,512. 1,512. 1,512. 1,512. 1,512 young people killed on our roads in three years. Heaven above Australia is getting crowded with so many young lives. It was the 19th of August 2006, the day of yet another car crash. The day when so many lives will be changed forever. We had a handheld two-way in the car and we could hear these truckies saying as we got close to the Captain's Mountain that there'd been an accident on the road and we thought oh well you know it can't be the boys they're behind us it's not 11 o'clock yet they won't have been left because they were kept saying four boys in a car four boys in a car and then when we got to the top of the hill and we looked down and the car crash the smoke was coming from the right hand side of the road we thought oh well it's not the boys because whoever's in that car was traveling towards us um, just wandering around and then um, a couple of uh, locals were parked in front of us and she had gone down, it was Leslie, she'd gone down just to see what was going on and she came back up and she didn't see me standing there. She just looked straight at her daughter walking straight up the road and the And I just, basically, my legs went out from underneath me. And I just fell to the ground. A day in my life um, has changed enormously. <laughs> um, not only did I lose my brother, um, I'm never going to see him walk down the aisle. goodbye to him. We weren't able to see him, to hug him one more time because he was he was severely burned in in the car um, to the extent where he was unrecognizable. Um, they had to actually identify him by dental records. Then we had to do the funeral. I think that was harder than the actual day. Especially the week when we were waiting for the coroner to actually ring us and say that, yeah, we can go and get our boy and bring him home. Until that day, that's when it really hit you. It was, I don't know what to say about it. It was the hardest day of my life anyway. Like, to see had that many people in tears. Not a, not a thing I want to see again anyway. <laughs>